I like to think that Albertans are more concerned about losing their jobs, feeding their families and paying their mortgages than they are about gender parity and fake sexism. But over the weekend, a charity golf tournament in Brooks provided fodder for Team Faux Outrage in the form of a cardboard cutout of the Premier that a Twitter user posted on their feed. An organizer of the event said that he placed the cutout on the course because he sees a lot of frustration in the province, and it would have been put up whether it was Richard Notley or Rachel Notley. But of course, calamity ensued when progressives and NDP supporters, along with NDP MLAs, threw their two cents in. Here's Stephanie McLean scolding men about the cutout, you know, because there could have never been women on the course at the time. Funny how she never did condemn her own husband, Shane Bostock, for shoving a female constituent at an NDP announcement earlier this year. I guess sexism is selective if you've got connections with the party of all women or whatever they call themselves. And of course, they just had to blame Derek Fildebrandt, Wildrose MLA for Strathmore Brooks, who was 500 kilometers away, because it's his riding and he's responsible for everyone's actions and all. He quickly condemned the action in a statement on his Facebook page. The NDP supporters and MLAs said using Notley's image as a golf target was sexist and misogynistic. But where were these same people when the death threats were made to Stephen Harper and a paper mache figure of the former Prime Minister was beaten on the streets of Vancouver? In their typical hypocritical fashion, they were silent, but that didn't stop them from using the murder of British Member of Parliament Joe Cox at the hands of a lunatic to score political points. It's completely lost on the NDP that comparing murder to a cardboard cutout diminishes real violence and victims of real violence, which, if you can believe it, includes both men and women. Violence is not gender specific, but you might believe it the way progressives lay it out. Like the organizer of the tournament said, the cutout would have been placed on the course whether it was Richard or Rachel Notley. If the effigy of Stephen Harper wasn't sexist, why is this cardboard cutout of Notley? In all reality, using the target on that golf course as a symbol of sexism just provides another deflection away from the destruction that the NDP are propagating throughout the province. Some may say it was in poor taste to use the Premier as a target. But what the reaction of the NDP shows is that they are, yet again, completely incapable of criticism, whether it's coming from the media, their political opponents, or from citizens on a golf course. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.